All right, so I'm back again here, guys, with more emulation uh, using the Xiaomi 14 Pro. And uh, just wanted to show this off. I showed it briefly in the video before. Uh, this is the GameSir controller. You just plug your phone right into this. Really nice. Clicky buttons, analog triggers, macro buttons on the back. Mm. Uh, when I'm playing the games on the TV on a bigger screen, I use my DualSense uh, controller from my PlayStation 5. But really, any major controller that has Bluetooth is going to connect and you're going to be able to use it, including this guy here that I absolutely adore, which is the SN30 Pro from 8 Bidot. Uh, great controller. So let's emulate some games. Okay, so we're back on the phone again, and I've set uh, the newest version of Ryu Jinx here to docked mode, as you can see here. And the graphics are currently set at 1080p. So that's 1080p in docked mode or 720p in handheld mode. So we'll see if any of the games that we're testing today are able to go all the way up to 1080p or if I need to drop them down. So I've loaded up a bunch more games here. Let's give Bluey the video game a go here. I'm not expecting to have a lot of trouble. This game made with Unity, so. Okay. So fully voiced, that's interesting. We made a sticker book of all the things we're going to do. Well, you can't argue right. with that. Well, the animation is on point with uh, the cartoon series. This episode of Bluey is called Holidays. All right, so I'm playing as Dad, so I guess this is where you could choose to play as different characters. Oh no! A lion on the loose! Quick, let's catch it! <laughs> okay. Oh, why? All right, yeah, pick that up. Let's check the living room next. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of a find the object kind of game so far. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit more to it than that. But uh, yeah, look, if you've got young kids and you're looking for something fun to let them play, again, here we are. We're, we're running at full 1080p docked mode. No issues whatsoever. So that's Bluey. Let's try out uh, Doraemon. Do 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 Again, this is looking pretty good at 1080p. This is essentially a story of seasons game. With if you're if you're not familiar, that is the Harvest Moon games. So think Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing with 3D models. The voices are all in Japanese in this game, so it does require uh, some reading. A lot of cutscenes to start this game off. Set up the story. It's like, a, uh, yeah, they take a rocket and they end up in this different world. Uh, uh, and they've got to help this guy to... fix up his farm. That's basically the, the setup for the game. Alright, so here we are, running around, looking good, no issues whatsoever. Again, dock mode, 1080p, looking good. So, this is another great game for kids, but maybe kids that are a little bit older, because a little bit of reading and uh, understanding of uh, menu systems, a little bit more advanced, but uh, a lot of fun. All right, so next up we've got Doraemo Nobita's Brain Exercise Adventure. Uh, when, when this game was first listed, it did not 
uh, include information about it being in English. So it was kind of a surprise when it released that, yes, indeed, this game is fully playable in English. All right, so Doraemo has jumped into the game adventure book. Now we're all inside the book. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. So we may have our first casualty here. Yeah, it's glitching out on us. So no, this is not playable, unfortunately. So I'm going to see here, I'm going to try and drop the graphics down, see if that makes a difference. And there we are, guys. So uh, lowered the resolution down and now the, the game appears to be playing uh, perfectly fine. So yes, again, sometimes the answer is just lowering that resolution down uh, so that the emulator can handle the game. I'm gonna jump back, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna set these up because I really wanna, wanna see if I can get just the very best quality out of these games. So I'm gonna bump that resolution back up. So that is really just what it would look like if you we're playing the Switch game on your TV at home. And let's try New Super Lucky's Tale. Okay, so let's start the game here. Mm, getting some screen tearing. And yeah, crashed to desktop, lowering the settings. Okay, still stuttering a little bit there when it came to the cutscenes, but let's see once we get into the gameplay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. It's looking good, guys. Ooh, okay. Yeah. yeah, this is not bad at all. Looking good. Okay, so we did have to lower the resolution, but the gameplay is uh, does not seem to be an issue at all. All right, next we're gonna try uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet, and uh, yeah, I uh, updated uh, my uh, Ryujinx to the latest version. But I'm not hopeful that this is going to work. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, I never had trouble getting past these menus here. Okay, so this is one thing that I think is kind of nice. Uh, when you have to enter stuff in, it does kind of, it pops up the keyboard on your phone. So that's, that's a nice touch. All right, so the enrollment is complete. I've gotten this far before, but... Uh, once I get into the game, the visuals just seem glitchy, which is surprising because I have seen people running this game on Yuzu on Android, other Android devices, and it does run on Ryujinx on my MacBook. All right, and I'm going to get the exact same issues with Shining Pearl. Now let's try Theater Rhythm Final Bar boost the graphics settings here. This is a fun rhythm game. The music obviously is fantastic. I love uh, the Final Fantasy music, just really some of the best orchestrated music in the history of gaming. And uh, all together here in one really fun little rhythm game. Yeah, again, if you're looking for a fun rhythm game, uh, that kids will enjoy, and that you will enjoy. This is it. This is it. All right, so here we go. This is really just a tutorial here. All 
All right. So, yep, yeah, this is uh, Theater Rhythm. Uh, looking great, guys. This is a fantastic game. Really great rhythm game. Uh, suitable for people of all ages. Uh, yeah. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. Fantastic game. Playing in docked mode 1080p. Perfect. Next, let's take a look at uh, Pinball FX3. This is digital pinball, and I gotta say, it's it's a lot of fun. But it's also very pricey. We're talking hundreds of US dollars worth of content here. All right, so here we are, guys. We're jumping right back in. Pinball FX3. Let's see if this is going to work for us. And again, we're seeing a black screen here. Yeah, no. Pinball FX3 not playable all right so it's show off time here guys now here we have aokana some games when they get ported over to the switch have to be censored because they have adult only content now i have added in a patch which i was able to get off of the internet just to show you how this works installing mods or cheats okay and uh, you need to find the folder which you have your DLC mods or updates. Uh, this folder here, ROM FS, contains the uh, the patch. I mean, look, I don't need to have nudity or sex in my games. That's not necessary. Uh, I don't mind that they remove these things for the Nintendo Switch versions of the game, but. Uh, I will say that it is interesting and an, an interesting thing to, to, to note that there are patches that sometimes patch in otherwise censored or removed content into games. So again, um, another acclaimed visual novel, completely uncensored and playable. Okay, so we did see a lot of really uh, great games. Again, Theater Rhythm, Final Bar, playable in 1080p, fantastic game. Still having problems getting the Pokemon games to work. Same with Pinball FX. Uh, Super Lucky Tail working really great. I did have to drop the resolution down, but the Doraemon games uh, working just fine. Again, uh, for the brain uh, exercise game, I had to drop the resolution down for some weird reason. Bluey working perfectly, and uh, the uncensored version of Ayokana working at 1080p. Also, it's worth mentioning, a space for the Unbound and Chained Echoes. Absolutely great, great indie games. And yeah, they're running with no problems. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If there's anything that you would like to see in a future video, any games that you're curious about, please drop a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ah!